no matter what happened on the court tonight, the biggest upset of the day, my shopping done three days ago, ending a streak of 24 years in a row of Christmas Eve shopping. All right, were there any upsets on the court, though? Oxford Hills looking for a signature win. Coming in, Chevris on the road visiting at 5-0. and Stag trailed by 15 at the half. Here come the Stags. Austin Boudreau on the steal. His team down 1 at 24. Oxford Hills responds, though. Cole Barrier to Trevor Goodrich on the break. 60-57 to Vikings. Next possession, Chris St. Pierre, another sophomore, contributing the Vikings, getting the lead back. Stags dumping inside. Jemmy, uh, Jesse Matthews for two. But the other way... They don't stop the ball, and Andrew Fleming's going to go to the rim and the sweet finger roll. He had 34, 77, 63. Oxford Hills, a big win. Fleming, a point away from 1,000 in his career. Edward Little visiting Portland tonight at the Expo. Off the opening tip, the Bulldogs' Griffin Foley hanging out in the corner. Trey Bien drills the three. Other way for the Eddie, CJ Gibson, the nice entry to Jared Norcross Ford, who goes in the big man move, the seal. He had 22, but no stopping the Moss brothers. Tarion had 25, and then older brother Amir working the boards had 29, 82 64. The Bulldogs 5 0. All right, in the holiday spirit at Deering High, better to give than receive. We saw this at Deering on the glass. Ben Williams. The outlet ahead to Malik White streaking for two. Then Anthony Labore, another bomb of a pass. This one to Williams. Houston outscored 29 to 13 in the second quarter. Then Williams on the glass to Raf Salamone for two. 23 assists on 31 buckets for Deering. They were in the giving mood. 69-39. Deering 6-0. Thorne Academy on the road at Noble. Second quarter. Jack Tilly penetrates the dish to Corey Hart. He calmly sinks the three. Noble trying to stick around. Christopher Evans pulls up. Number four drains the J. But the Tilly and Hart connection hook up for another three. 64-32, Thornton Academy with the win. The Trojans are 6-0. and Elsewhere in South Double-A, Scarborough hosting South Portland. Riots go inside Jack Fiorini. He had two. He scored eight straight in the third quarter as the Red Riots start to pull away. All the way, Emmett Peoples bumped and gets the finish and won. Wow. For South Portland, Matt Pelletier. Great look inside to Fiorini who had 19. And then the defense turns to offense. It's Sam DePaulo who comes up with a steal. And Ray Bowl is going to go in, put the exclamation point on it. 73 38, South Pole in the win. Cape hosting Westbrook in an A matchup. Off the opening tip for Westbrook, Zach Manusian, the crossover, and then the sweet pull up for two. Westbrook sticking around early on. The Capers, James Bottomley, don't give him baseline. Well, instead, he's going to take it right in the middle of the paint. That doesn't bother him. He finishes. Then the ball movement moving in a good direction for Cape. That's Finn Bovey's direction. Drills the three. 56 42. Cape Elizabeth with the home win. Elsewhere in A. Falmouth coming off a loss to Greeley. Trailing Mount Ararat at the half, but a big second half. Leading by seven late. Eagles press. Matt Wolbrook to Thomas Coyne. The alley oop to Sam Scott. Dunk optional. Then the same combo. Coin to Scott to seal this one. 61 48 foul with the win. Trey visiting Freeport. The Falcons move it around. Caleb Rice to Ethan Sklar to TJ Morrill. Falcons go up by 10 late on the Morrill three, but the Rangers try to stick around. Shane McNeil. Penetrates the dish to Angelo Succi for two, but Freeport pulls away. Rice on the break to Morrill. 55 44 Freeport. They have got back to back wins. All right, in girls' hoops, seems like defending champ Lawrence is the favorite up north in A, but down south, who's going to emerge? Could it be York? York and Rick Clark's last season on the bench for the Wildcats, hosting Biddeford tonight. It's a nice interior passing. Chloe Smedley to Mia Briggs for the lay in for the York Wildcats. In transition, Lily Posternick. Pulls up, fills it up. And then Posternick giving it to Smedley. She had 16, 69 to 8. York, they are 7 0. Marshwood hosting Freiburg Academy. First quarter, Cat Lock is going to drive for the hoop and the foul. The Hawks take a three point lead. Other way, Julia Quinn, what a year she's having. The spin move and the lay in. She had 22, 48 to 42. Freiburg with the victory in this one in overtime. A thriller in Marshwood tonight. Candy Bunk hosting Massabesic. Fourth quarter, Maddie Drain ahead of the pack. The lay in. Mustangs up 39 32 with five to play. Ram Rally, Sierra Tart to Olivia Sanford. Game tied at 39 with 2.30 left. But the Mustangs respond. Emma DeRosiers rattles off the jumper here, just drops home. Then DeRosiers ahead 
to drain for the lay in 46 43. Massa Beast, like a nice win on the road. Southern B, 4 0 Wells, hosting 4 1 Lincoln Academy. Eagles trailed after one, then they go on a run. Chloe Howell drives to the middle for two. Then Bree Wager hits the three from the wing to give Lincoln the lead. Then Dorothy Hodes for three, part of a 15 0 run. 32 30, Lincoln Academy is the winner. Deer and girls traveling to Lewiston to take on the Blue Devils tonight. Abby Ramirez, she's in the highlights every night for good reason. The steal, and she's going coast. To coast the body control for two. But Lewiston, they've got a team this year. Alasia Branch to Victoria Harris to Morgan Ellison inside. Lewiston, a big win over Deering 49 to 38 tonight. All right. Macaulay and Scarborough going at it this afternoon, not this afternoon, earlier today. Natalie Taylor to Lindsay Kelly. Scarborough with a quick lead in this one. And Eva Mazers on the ball. She can make things happen. The steal, she's going to break ahead of everybody. 63 44 Macaulay. Lions are 6 0. Oxford Hills visiting Chevrolet. Late in the third, Aaron Morton, the Vikings, taking matters into her own hands. The Vikings down 3, 40 to 37. But here come the Stags. Deirdre Sanborn pulls up and fills it up. Chevrolet's a 67 49 win. All right, elsewhere, Sanborn. Sanford visiting South Portland for Sanford. Nice inbounds play. Julia Allen to Annie Ledoux, but this one would end up being all South Portland. It's the kind of play that makes the coaches happy. It's Maddie Hassan kicking it out. The extra pass to Megan Graff, who's going to drain the long jumper. And then another long jumper. This is Sarah Bowles from the corner. South Portland with a 55 31 win over Sanford tonight. You can check all the highlights on WMTW.com. That right there is Hoops 8.